Hello, and welcome to Exciting Expert. My name is Lavelle Joseph, and today I'll be showing you how to use STAuthTrace to find necessary authorizations. STAuthTrace is used to trace authorization checks that occur for a user as they execute transactions. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Now that I'm logged into the system, I'll be demonstrating how to use STAuthTrace to find necessary transactions for a role that I want to build. So we start off by typing ST auth trace to start the transaction. And once the transaction starts, you can see up top, there's a different options here. And you can see this would be used to evaluate the trace once the trace has been completed. This is to activate the trace, deactivate the trace. And the system-wide trace is used to trace um, authorization checks with systems that have multiple app servers. This system in particular only has one and it's shown here. And you can see a trace status is listed here, the last changed uh, by user, and the date and timestamp. I'm going to go ahead and filter on user, a test user I created. This option here, trace for errors only, is used if you only want to trace errors uh, that happen in the authorization checks. I want to see both the errors and the successful checks. So I'll leave this unchecked. And I'll leave the today's date and the hour time frame and the type of application option. You can use this to filter on specific applications, whether it's an RFC function module or an IDOC type or WebDIM Pro. For this example, it's going to be a transaction. And the transaction is going to be SU01. And you can also filter on the maximum number of records. Here it's showing us 10,000. I'll leave it as is. And I don't want to see any duplicate records, so I'm going to check this option here to uh, only have records show up as one. Go ahead and start the trace. And I'll switch over to my test user. See, here's my test user. Now I'll type in SU01, select the user ID, and display. Now at this point, I'll switch back over to deactivate the trace. And I'll go ahead and evaluate the trace. As you can see here, all my authorization checks that happened for the um, test user were successful. There are no errors, but more importantly here, you can see all the off objects, the fields and the field values that were done during the authorization checks. I could now use this information to, uh, you know, whether it's used for security or to build a role, I could now use this, informa this useful information. And that's how ST auth tricks works. Thank you. And that was today's expert tip how to use ST auth trace to find particular authorizations needed. Don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date. See you next time.